All right, let's look at a volleyball tournament that is absolutely brilliant the way it was set up. And I have to give props to Mary Elise at Assumption uh, for what she's done here. This is this is really, really great. So it's the Louisville Invitational Volleyball Tournament uh, this upcoming weekend. I see officials are assigned, but let's uh, let's dig into it and see um, how she set this up. So we got our signing our signing group there. So they're going to see all the matches. Um, two day match. It's a two day tournament. I mean, I got six six thirty p.m. in there at three thirty p.m. It is published. A um, lot of participating schools. A lot of uh, out of state participating schools, uh, as you can see there. And now this is what's done nicely. And, you know, this is all new to me, too. Uh, and just the way this was done. Notice how she set up all the sites. So we have Assumption High School Volleyball Court 1, Assumption High School Volleyball Court 2, but then also the, the KIVA Court 1s through 6. And look how she's already got these matches set up. So um, and I'll show you where she set those sites up here in a second. So then she added the teams. We got some that have already accepted. Um, the contract, or to me, that's the notification that the tournament's been created. Just real quick, if you see anything that's inactive, uh, that just means that school does not use Arbiter. Uh, Ohio and Indiana does not. So if any of those are Ohio, I see several Ohio's in there, but they do not use Arbiter. So they would show as inactive. That really doesn't meet anything. You can still schedule them. And then look here of, of the way this is all scheduled. So 13th, just so many different things going on at once. So we have 6.30 p.m., uh, Assumption and Beachwood. Also, and essentially we have five matches going on at 6.30. Oh, gosh, no, more than that. <laughs> we've, got quite a, we've got quite a few matches, six, um, seven, eight, I guess. And so as you see here, sites and subsites. So these, this one's at, vol at Assumption Court 1, Assumption Court 2. And then you can see the KIVAs, how she has that set up. We see that officials have been assigned. It's like that. So pretty cool. Let me call, uh, collapse these back. And what's important, and uh, and and I we're all learning this, and it's been a challenge here these fir this first month, but it's very important that participating Kentucky schools do not try to go in like say you know Douglas tries to go in, their coach tries to add a, uh, a an individual match against Buchanan High. Uh, at, at and then using Assumption or KIVA as a remote site because it's going to it's going to cause a duplicate to occur. So we definitely don't want that to happen. So you know I think the earlier we can load in tournaments, the better because I know some some schools may get impatient. Well, you know, you know Henry Clay coach thinking well maybe um, you know I need to get this match in there, but I believe this would be so much easier. It has to be easier for officials assignments because as you can see, it all. Has has it all in one place. Now, once the day of the tournament, so on the 13th, on Friday, the score boxes will appear here. And then, of course, you you know, as you've used to scheduling or entering scores on volleyball, you would click the little down arrow and enter the set scores. Uh, any of the participating teams should be able to do that. And then, uh, likewise, uh, any participating team can then enter their stats. Uh, so this has done very well. I think she's still working on it here, but I just wanted to get that out uh, and, and show you an example of this. So I'm going to assume the second day is TBA because um, the matches haven't been set yet but um it's really well done so real quick how did she do this the locations and so forth and because as you can see there were so many matches being played at the same time so she went into resources and she went to sites and she managed her satellite sites and basically i'm not going to do it but she went in here and sometimes it's a little tricky but i i will say this i noticed when i was adding one in, in gatlinburg if it's out of the 200 mile range and you try to create a site and you enter the name the address and so forth uh, arbiter will come up and say hey this already exists so that's one thing that i, I do like uh, a lot um so see what she did here. She entered uh, KIVA as a site. And then within the site, she created these subsites. 
and if we just you know court one through six and i'm sure if we click on this edit we'll see uh and, and you can also add the sports there you know for future use you could click on here and add volleyball maybe basketball i don't know if they play basketball or not or not i'm not going to do anything because it's 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 very well done but that's how you would add the sites um and then once you add those sites once you go back to the schedule and you create that tournament let's go back to to friday they will then be able to be chosen within that tournament so that's very well and and, and just we, we're not going to do it but if we wanted to add a site and see where she's got kiva in there maybe collegiate was uh, that's not a good example maybe uh uh no well maybe maybe trinity for, for some reason was gonna was gonna be a site they uh, they had to do some overflow over there to do some uh, volleyball sites well you could pick that and then add trinity subsite of like their gym or whatever so it's not a really good example there but just to give you an idea so again this is very well done um I think if if we can do future tournaments like this, I think it's in everybody's benefit. Again, you can add uh, attachments if you want to add an attachment like flyers or maybe parking instructions, maybe directions, things like that. And then, of course, on your Arbiter Live page, we're going to I can click uh, view an Arbiter Live and we can see how it shows up on assumptions arbiter live page it i was in warren central last again so it's going to show warren central's icon but that's just a little glitch it will not show that on assumptions uh, live page so you can see there you got the louisville invitation volleyball tournament you got all the matches um and then as with anything else you could click on this brings up directions and so forth so i think that is really well done and and kudos uh to her for for figuring that out so um as always i really like to be proactive and uh try to get schools on the right foot for this you know i know we've we've had uh, a, a huge learning curve in the in the fall with volleyball and, and even soccer to some extent but i think if we really focus you know in advance on these basketball tournaments and since i sent that last video out we've had so many that have been done correctly I appreciate that as well. And I think this will only, uh, you know, only get better over time. So thanks a lot.